hey so welcome back in this video we'll be trying to solve the ninth lead code problem that is palindrome number all right so the statement is just to determine whether an integer is a palindrome an integer is a palindrome when it reads the same backward as forward so the first example is one to one if we'll read this backwards it will still be one to one right so it's true now for the example 2 minus 1 to 1 will read 1 to 1 minus from right to left so it's false similarly a third example and a fourth example pretty similar so yeah let's see how we can solve this okay so now how can we solve this question so um, by just first thoughts we could like just do it the traditional way right like for example if the input is given as 1 to 1 we could like do it the traditional way like answer is equal to 1 to 1 basically the modulus of 1 to 1 then let's say x is equal to 1 to 1 then we can update the value of x by doing floor division right then we can do r equal to let's r equal to 0 at first r equal to r into 10 plus answer right so now once this loop ends we'll get r as the reverse of 1 to 1 but what's the problem with this method? So the main problem is this method won't hold for negative integers that well. So I'll say why in just a second. Let me erase all this. Um, okay. So let's say we have a number like 1, 2, I mean negative 1, 2, 4. Let's say we have a negative number minus 1, 2, 4. So if we do minus 1, 2, 4 basically the modulus of that what do you think we'll get the answer as will we get the answer as 4 no when we do the modulus of minus 1 to 4 we'll get the answer as 6 similarly when we do floor division and we'll do floor division by minus 1 to 4 many people might expect to get minus 12 as the answer but no we'll get minus 13 as the answer so the main reason for this is that when it will like do the division it will look something like let me erase this it will look something like minus 12.4 right so floor division will reduce the number to the lowest possible value so in this case the lowest possible value is minus 13 right since we are going backwards so yeah it will get rounded off to minus 13 so how do you prevent all this from happening so i actually did a, a very quick and easy way you could say so what i did is now currently this minus one to four is in an integer form so the first thing i do i want to convert into i want it to convert to a string so I'll convert it to a string first. It'll look something like minus one to four, like this. All right. So now what will I do? I will compare this original string with the reverse of it. So I will check if minus one to four is equal to four to one minus. In this case, it's not right. It is not equal. So if it is equal i can return true and then if it's not equal i can just return false that's basically it um, this is actually a simple problem and yeah so that's how you solve this problem okay let's code the whole solution out now it's a pretty easy question and yeah so the first thing is i'll convert the integer to a string so that we can reverse it so I'll just do x equals the string of x and then I can do if x equals equals x colon colon minus 1. So this basically compares the original value of x with the reverse value of x, right? So if it is same, I can return true, else I can return false. That's basically it. That's how you solve this question. Let me run this. And there you go, it works. Let me submit this and hopefully it works.
and there you go it works so yeah that's basically it if you have any doubts leave them in the comment section below i'll be sure to answer them and that's it for this video and bye